So today the Gordy boy is going on BBC Radio 1 morning show. Ah shit! With Stephen Jordan. The Gordy boy is going places. <laughs> um, so how did this all come around? So last week a video then got released onto social media from the BBC social page and it was about me and the camper van. Like about a month ago I think we filmed it. Um, me and a, a girl Julia who, who works at the BBC. So we met up at Galloway Forest Park and uh, you know I showed her the van, kind of did a short interview and spoke about it and whatever. It was alright but the video went out then on social media and it's been pretty successful. But 260,000 views has got and also very good comments, you know, just people and sharing interest in the van and you know, very encouraging. So then as a result of that, BBC contacted me asking if I would come on the show and uh, yeah, they have a segment about the camper van. Fuck! So that's what I'm doing now. I'm heading into Glasgow to go to the BBC studios. Now we're at 10.32, not so long ago, the camper van was the vehicle of choice for a very select few, blocking passing places all over Scotland and crawling along country roads at 20 miles an hour. Most of us were happy to see the back of them in our rear view mirror, if that is we were able to get past them in the first place. Well, how times change, the hashtag van life has now clocked up more than 6 million hits on Instagram and fabulous camper van conversions are suddenly the hottest way to get around. So what is so appealing about this nomadic and simplistic lifestyle? Gordon Yule converted his van into a camper van and is with me in the studio this morning. Morning, Gordon. Good morning, Stevie. What led you to convert your van into a camper van? I mean, as you say, you, there's the whole van life situation kind of thing that seems quite appealing, but um, I've got a very short attention span also, which uh, leads me to jumping from one thing to another. And I came across a van, found it on Facebook, and before I know it, kind of bought this uh, X Network Rail van. Wow. And, uh, yeah. uh, still got the logo on the side? or Sadly not. In fact, right now it's just a big white uh, big white van. Um, uh, yeah. So what are you doing to it? How are you pimping your van? Also, it's pretty much finished now anyway. It's got, you know, a, a big double bed out there. I've kind of somehow managed to, to work in place and I've got a stove, you know, a sink, just a cold water system. Um, I've got a diesel heater, which is tapped into the fuel pump. Um, I've got a third bench. I mean, I call it a bed, but it's pretty slim. You have to be pretty slim to lie on that. Um, but yeah, it's perfect. It's got everything, you know. It's, uh, it's just a yeah, pimped out, pimped out van, essentially. And how are you using it just now? Is the idea, I mean, are you, are you staying in it full time? No, or? no, no. So at the moment, I, I, did, I sold my car to also fund to buy the van and um, up, I'm renting a flat just now up at uni in, in Stirling. Um, so at the moment, obviously I'm staying in the flat and I'm just using this as a vehicle at the moment whilst at uni and, and as soon as uni's out the way I'll be jumping in that van and travelling around as long as I can. So what's the plan? Where are you going to go? So obviously, well, I mean we're in Scotland and at the moment going with the way it seems, um, seems like Scotland will be a staycation. <laughs> potentially, no, but I'm, I'm working in Norway over summer and the plan is to, to get a few friends and we'll drive round to Norway and uh, make a good couple of week trip. That would be amazing. Northern that would be Europe. Yeah. So how do you do that? You get the ferry from here yeah. across to, would you go to Amsterdam? No, I'd probably go straight to, um, down to, down to, down to France, to Calais, and then make kind of... Are you going to drag stick. this out? I can oh, yeah, see, aren't you? Coast, <laughs> stick, stick coastal and, you know, and, and see as many places as you can. But that, that is the cool thing about the van, you know, it's, as soon as you're in it, you, you know, you just go anywhere and if, you get tired, you can stop up, have a sleep, or if somewhere's nice, you just stop up and, and, and explore there. As soon as you're in it, you're on holiday, aren't you? Oh, yeah, 100%. Even driving here, you know, the sunshine, I'm thinking, ah, oh, it's so much you to go back to, but <laughs> soon enough, that'll be out of the way. Uh, yeah. no, but could you have imagined that 10 years ago, you would be the owner of a camper van? I mean, the image has changed quite dramatically, oh, isn't it? I mean, 10 years ago, I was 14, I don't think I could even imagine, imagine the, the next week, never mind 10 years' time, but no, it's... Uh, it's also this kind of sense of pride, you know, I bought this as a, an empty van and and just from looking on YouTube and, and figuring out how to do things, like the learning curve, like the learning process of doing everything has just been amazing. And obviously because I'm on a budget, you know, you have to do these things yourself and it kind of makes you realise like there's a lot of things you, you, you can 
fix yourself, whether it be obviously in the van in my case, but in the house as well, and whatever, it's, uh, it's good fun. Excellent. Right, Karen Kenzie is on the lookout for a camper van. She's on the line. Karen, morning. Hi, Stephen. Morning. Who's snoring loudest? Right, uh, Gordon, uh, as our veteran, our van veteran here this morning, uh, do you want to give Karen some tips on, on driving e camper van not to uh, annoy everybody else on the road? Any top tips on that? Pedal to the floor. <laughs> well, that's it. That's my next few minutes of fame. Finished. Over. Finito. Well, until next time. Let's. Uh, See where the Gordon the big engine takes us. She never fails me. Goodbye.